Kamusta kayo lahat? And welcome to Pinoy Bounce. And I'm James from Pinoy Bounce. And today, we have two guests. And it's France Manila, the OG guest. Say what's up. Hey, my man. My oh, man. <laughs> you good? Thanks for being here, man. <laughs> right. So, and another one, another OG host slash for Pinoy Bounce and Pinoy Crossover. Say what's up, JR. What's going on, guys? I'm back. I'm back for one day. I mean, <laughs> Mr. Marky day. Mark, <laughs> Mr. Marky Mark, and uh, Ingrid are on. Uh, they're out with rest. Maybe load management. No, maybe. Maybe you management. never know. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, today we're gonna go straight to NBA fun facts because Mark is not here, so we just go straight to it. So today's NBA fun fact is 2008 to 2009 Houston Rockets. Back in 2008, Tracy McGrady and Dikembe Mutombo got hurt and the season-ending injury. And in 2009 playoffs, Yao Ming got injured because of the foot injury facing the Los Angeles Lakers. And this is the fun fact. Only Houston Rockets forced LA Lakers to seven games. They were the only team that forced the LA Lakers in an NBA playoffs to seven games. And some say if Yao Ming, the Kembe Mutombo, and Tracy McGrady were there, they could have beat the NBA champs that year. So my question to you guys, LeBron James just got interviewed and asked, is it weird to play Golden State Warriors without Klay Thompson and Steph Curry? And his answer is, well, I played against them without Kyrie and without Kevin Love. So this is my question. If Kyrie and Kevin Love didn't get injured in 2015 playoffs, do you think the Cleveland Cavaliers could have beat the Golden State in the NBA Finals? Uh, I don't think so, man. Uh... Warriors still would have won, regardless. It may have ended to probably seven games. Um, I mean, Cleveland was kind of a new squad that year. LeBron just came back. Uh, Warriors, they, they had the chemistry then. You know, Iguodala has been uh, with them, I think, uh, I don't know, for that year. And, um, yeah, they were the underdogs. They were, they were hungrier than, than Cleveland, in my opinion. So, I don't know, it's just my take. Yeah, I think I have to agree with that. I think if even if LeBron James and Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving were on the that squad versus the Warriors for the very first time, I think he would have gone into another uh, a game seven before their game seven the year after. Yeah. Um, it it, it would have been tough for LeBron James to really really carry the the uh, the casting that casting crew that he had without Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving to win the championship against. What we know now as a full-on all-star squad with Iggy, uh, Clay, and Curry, and Draymond Green. They, they, they were phenomenal. And again, they were hungry here. It is tough for a team, or especially LeBron James, or just a, like in, in a team to come together for one season and take them to the championship, win that ring. Um, I know we've, we've witnessed the Toronto Raptors do it. Yeah. But still, again, France brought up a good point. It's the hunger and the fight that yeah. the Warriors had, including to what we as the Toronto Raptors had during that series to win that championship. I think LeBron James wanted to do that for sure, but like yeah. he need, I, he definitely needed Kyrie Irving. And what he did that year after, Kyrie Irving hit that game-winning shot. Yeah. And he needed that secondary guys. Yeah. He couldn't do it by himself. Yeah. Well, let me add to that. Um, if Draymond Green probably didn't get injured uh, the next uh, series they had, I think uh, Warriors would have beat them like what, four to one, you know. And Cleveland would never would have never came back. Wait, are you talking about 2016 or 2015? Well, no, the following year, right? Yeah. Um, they came back and won the championship against Warriors. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying now, same same thing. If both teams, they they pretty much had the same squad. Mm -hmm. If they faced each other the year before, it would have been the same thing. I think you Warriors, think the Warriors could have won. Warriors still would have. Warriors still would have won. Cause look at the following yeah. year, they basically had the same squad, you know, and you know they were basically winning, and they were just toying with Cleveland until Draymond Green got suspended. Yeah, because he was being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> then, so in 2016, you think that the Warriors could have won? I mean, should have won. That oh, easy. Season. They were yeah. up like three one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like even 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 with the injury, I mean not injury, the suspension with Draymond Green, they only the, uh, Steph Curry and Clay Thomas probably had like two or three shots in them that could have brought them to win that game in Game Seven. They were just out, out shot with that one 
one fadeaway jumper by Kyrie Irving and the one block by LeBron James. That was a turning that, point. That were able to freaking basically stop them on that run. So, they, like, literally, they were pretty much evenly matched during that series, and they were they could have won it, even even with LeBron James and Kevin Love and and uh, Kyrie Irving on on the like a fully nice, fully healthy roster. And Kevin Love, remember that one that that final possession. Kevin Love, pretty much. Full defense on Stephen Curry, trying to get that one shot off, then hopefully get them within the one possession uh, mark uh, between the two in the game seven. Yeah. Well, here's the thing: some people don't realize that it is not about superstars. It, it's about ro- players accepting their roles. Mm-hmm. And you see, my question: I mean, 2011 um, NBA champions um, Dallas. If you take you took off um, Tyson Chandler. Or Sean Marion on that team, you think they're gonna beat the Miami Heat? I don't think so. No way. I don't even yeah, think they're gonna beat Lakers that year. They're gonna start. Look, they're gonna start Jan Mahimi and Paige Stojakovic. So but, who's gonna guard LeBron James? And so, so it's all about play um, teams that accepting their roles. Yeah, yeah. So you can win NBA uh, championships. No, Nowitzki was going super saying that yeah. that series. Like not only that, just the Portland. He struggled, but after that, he just became hungrier. Beat the Lakers. Swept the Lakers. Yeah. You know, beat um, you know uh, Westbrook, Durant, and um, you know Harden. You know the last year they were together, and then yeah. they he beat Miami Heat like all by himself basically. And probably you know? knowing that like maybe it was I know it was a little bit earlier than um, him leaving the the league. It's like when when would it be the last time I would be in this same position and like yeah. try to win this for the for the Mavericks or for my career again. Yeah, those old guys yeah. were hungry. Yeah, they were very <laughs> like they're just like a a bunch of um, you know, uh, like veterans like yeah. put together surrounding, exactly. you know, Nowitzki. It was like a And they have Corey Butler perfect. and Corey Brewer that year too. They were injured. Mm. So oh, imagine. Was there? <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah. just, but, but injury is part of the game, so yeah, yeah those things happen. Yeah. So yeah. It's so, perfect scenario, man. So um so LeBron James, this is 17 year, and the same as Carmelo Anthony. So, what do you guys think about the first game of uh, Carmelo Anthony Blazers game? It was it was tough to watch. Um, he went for I think he, he was shooting poorly from the jump, um, and he was turning it over the ball, getting a lot of fouls, turnovers. He had like five turnovers, five personal fouls. It's just his first game within the last few months, and he he's he's been out of the league. Not long, but it was pretty long for yeah. him, right? And, it's one year, bro. And the circumstance that he was able to be put in, he was basically thrown in the fire. <laughs> uh, Damian Lillard is out. They have a lot of injuries on the squad. Um, and they were facing against a Pelicans team who did have a lot of injuries on their squad, but it comes down to that hunger for that one. That even though that it was just one game, one regular season, meaningless game, they were able to come out and beat the Portland Trail Blazers, and it's like he was definitely he was throwing the fire. He didn't he, he was trying to find a way to pass the ball more, but in a sense of what Portland needs, I think he needs to come back to that old him and just get that score mentality, get that hoodie medal back, shoot more, <laughs> drain some buckets, and bring his bring the carry that squad. But it is tough when you have a lot of injuries on the squad, and it's your very first game on a new team in. Pretty much 20 games, 20 games in the season, roughly. Yeah. And it, it was it's tough to see, but like hopefully he could turn this around. It's it was just a, weird. He it was just one right game. away. He yeah. just started right away. So it just yeah, like you said, you just put him in there and just do whatever you want. But in his legacy, he's, he was minus 22. Mm-hmm. So that don't, that don't look good right now for him. <laughs> so what do you think, Franz? Yeah, I mean, you can't really really uh, knock the guy for you know having the stats he had. I mean, the turnovers. Uh, he had five turnovers, though. So that's that's quite a lot. But yeah. like you guys said, he hasn't played for a year, and um, I mean, from from what I see in the videos he's been at, he's just basically you know doing uh, five on five, you know, pickup games, <laughs> stuff like that. Goody <laughs> mellow, so right. And uh, yeah, I mean, sucks what happened to him because you know you don't want to see a guy like Mello just kind of get you know blackballed from the NBA the, the way they did um, Iverson. Yeah. I think he uh, deserves more respect. Well, Iverson is different. He, he was going through depression. 
yeah, this mm. this assist. I mean, the the daughter was going through yeah. some stuff like sickness and all that stuff. So. See, the argument yeah. is they they think Melo uh, doesn't want to like you know sit on the bench or come off yeah. the bench, and just want to jack up shots all over the place. You know, he he did say he's willing to do whatever it takes, and then uh, whatever the team tells him to do, he's willing to do. It's just they kind of just the way they perceive them uh, or whatever scouts, whoever it is. Um, didn't see that uh, he's gonna be useful for a team, so I think he's gonna. I, I would have liked it for the Lakers, but <laughs> hey, you know what? Well, they playing pretty well him, right now. I'd so. rather have Carmelo than you know, you know, KCP or uh, <laughs> that's true, uh, who, that's true. who's that guy, um, Jerry D- uh, Dudley. Yeah. Oh man, oh, he's not, he doesn't play anything. Exactly. He have zero minutes. So. All right, that's it for the segment. So tune in for player highlight after this messages. <laughs> 